So about a month ago, I randomly decided to uh, do some stuff to the garden and put, got some bricks and put them together on the side of the house. Wanted to uh, see what I could grow this summer, so I went to Home Depot, grabbed some stuff, some dirt, and some uh, mulch and things of that nature, and wanted to try to uh, rebuild my garden. So got to putting some dirt together. Wanted to put some watermelons over here because this was a good spot where I know the sun would be good in the daylight. So uh, that was a goal for this particular area to uh, make myself a melon patch. So put it together and um, yeah, as this picture already indicates, uh, the next day, this is what it looked like. Uh, but I realized that the dirt combo wasn't quite right. So I ultimately had to pull up some of this stuff again and uh, remix it with some dirt before it got to the point where you're looking at now uh the way you're looking at it now i had actually already mixed the dirt up got the dirt uh, pretty much the way i wanted it and i put mulch on the top of it so that's what we're looking at now and this is the uh, other piece of the garden i'm looking at i actually bought a plant a uh, basil plant from a farmer's market not a basil plant but a kale from a farmer's market and that's what's on the left right there and um, the thing in the red uh, tomato cat cage, that's actually a melon that I just got from the farmer's market. Um, forgot what kind of melons those were, but there'll be a video coming up explaining that. Got some basil plants as well. And this is where I put a squash, uh, put a squash right there. Cause I know they kind of get big and flower, flowery. And this is my other little garden section. In the left corner, I put some, uh, cucumbers over there you'll be able to see them later i got some tomatoes here and in that left side i was talking about the cucumbers in the center you've got some tomatoes uh, i'm growing there looks like sun gold tomatoes out on the back i've got some to the right right there we're looking at some loose collard greens i kind of put in there so we'll see how that goes if the bugs don't try to uh, do what they did last year. This is just an extra bucket. I, um, I think I might end up putting the other squash in one of these because I got my squashes getting kind of crowded, as you'll see in the next picture. This is when I first put them in there and they've grown now. And this is an update of that melon. It's actually trying to reach over and do some stuff. And we got some um, peas there. And that's a side picture of my other garden where the kale is actually. Another pick of my tomatoes and a little bitty uh, tomato that I seeded that I grew from seeds right there, as well as some tomatoes that I have currently growing. And what else do we have? And that's the same pick of the ones that we have growing, this sun gold, I believe. I've got this onion that's just erect and just standing at attention wondering when it's supposed to be picked so i'm going to figure that out um, as well soon so this is an updated view of that garden that i started and this is uh, as of a couple of days ago so it's about a month old now and this is the squash three squash are in this plant i need to uh get rid of one or two of the squash plants and either put them someplace else or just recycle them and this is the collards you saw a minute ago. And this is a weed thing. I don't know what kind of weeds those are. I might just put the squash in that. Not quite sure yet. But that's my garden update.